Hi, I'm Robert. And I'm Annika. The following is a study on the effectiveness of anti-smoking advertising and the various emotional reactions to different methods and influences presented in said advertising. We focused on a young target demographic based on our previous research which highlighted that one of the most effective forms of reducing smoking is to reduce the current adolescent smoking rate of 14.2%. With 64.4% of Australians having smoked at some point in their lives, it is important for us to explore the effectiveness of the advertising directed towards current smokers and find the most effective method of emotionally influencing them to quit or not taking it up at all. The Australian Institute of Health and Welfare states that of all the risk factors for ill health, tobacco smoking is responsible for the greatest burden on the health of Australians. Smoking accounts for almost 10% of the total burden of disease in Australia. It is the major risk factor for heart disease, stroke, vascular disease and cancers. In our research, we identified three hypotheses that highlight our interpretations of the data that we collected in the earlier stages of our study. Hypothesis 1 focuses on the effects of social stigmatization in relation to young adults' opinions of smoking and whether social influence affects their personal perception of anti-smoking advertising. We hypothesize that when confronted with emotional-based advertising, people will adjust their opinion in favor of the ad to conform to what is perceived as the social norm of being affected by emotional advertising. We concluded due to insufficient evidence and lack of participants that this hypothesis was null, though it may lead to further research on the topic. Hypothesis 2 looked into the effects of using children in anti-smoking advertising and the effectiveness of this method towards younger demographics. Our previous research showed that several participants, though feeling the ads were effective, felt that the use of children had a reduced effect on them due to the small amount of contact they had with kids. Again, due to insufficient evidence, we were unable to create a strong conclusion to this hypothesis, though it does appear that the use of children does not greatly appeal to younger demographics. Hypothesis 3 compared narrative and non-narrative filming styles and techniques to find which is the most effective at drawing attention and forming emotional reactions. We use drink driving advertising as well as anti-smoking advertising to ensure consistency. The study found that a large percent of our participants found narrative-based advertising the most effective method at creating a relatable emotional response. In our research, we identified several main themes that can be related to smoking habits and anti-smoking advertising. Our main questioning revealed that emotional narrative advertising was the best method of reaching our target audience. Because we are focusing on young demographics, the use of children is redundant and we would just be distracting from the main message of the advertisement. A trend also noticed in our research and further secondary research was that youth were generally more concerned with their personal health and appearance rather than the effect they have on the people around them. Another major trend we noticed is that people tend to smoke when waiting on public transport. The following is a storyboard of an advertisement designed to take note of the findings mentioned above. It depicts a man at a train station lighting a cigarette, and as the train moves past him we see him gradually age, from 17 to 35. When he reaches 35 we are shown a close headshot of him on the phone as he tells someone that the test was positive for lung cancer. The aim of this ad is to emphasise that starting young will lead to severely short lifespans, and that long term risks are serious. By taking in information regarding to public transport and the way that youth feel about smoking, we felt that an emotional ad will appeal greater to the audience. The ad will also aim to influence parents of teenagers by suggesting that the person on the phone may be a parent. The narrative and visual style of the ad will be a main focus. We have also avoided adding children to the ad due to the risk of losing a potentially large percentage of the audience. The advertisement serves as an example of how we can use our research to create more effective emotional advertising towards young demographics. We hope that this research will help shed insight into how to deter Australian youth from smoking. Thank you for listening to our presentation on the effectiveness of anti-smoking advertising.